So luxury clothing brand Gucci is still in some hot water. Now, they've been forced to apologize and remove their black and red vintage ski mask jumper, also known as balakalava, <laughs> after fashion goers realize it's kind of resembles the blackface. Oh! Now, here's a look at it. <laughs> Hang on. I don't understand how it gets this far, because at some point, somebody had to sit at a table and go, all right, everybody, here's going to be one of our uh, designs that we're thinking about for the fall winter line. That somebody's hand and go, uh, real, real, real quick, that's a bad idea. How does it go No, no, production? actually, it's, it's a good idea. When you think about the polar vortex Whoa. that happened last week, you can't blame anybody for trying to keep warm. This is basically a half of a ski mask. Now, the problem is, somebody sitting at the table goes, well, I think it looks like blackface. Okay, well, let's reel this thing back in, then. If someone's going to see that, then this is wrong. I think the real offense here is that it cost $800. <laughs> well, you know, that's cheap. I hear David Dukes over there interning at Gucci. Mm -hmm. they, Gary, what does Dish Nation pay you? Damn, Gary. No, girl, I have a part-time... Oh, baby, I have a part-time job, honey. <laughs> You'd buy a sweater with a hole in it for 800 bucks? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends on where the hole is, but yes. <laughs> so people obviously expressed their outrage on social media, and Gucci immediately removed the item from the collection and released a statement which said... Gucci deeply apologizes for the offense caused by the wool balakalava jumper. <laughs> balakalava. <laughs> balakalava. All right. Wool balakalava jumper. We can confirm that the item has immediately been removed from our online and all physical stores. We consider diversity to be a fundamental value, to be fully upheld, respected, and at the forefront of every decision we make. We are fully committed to increasing diversity throughout our organization and turning this incident into a powerful learning moment for for Gucci and the team beyond. Like, I truly feel like yeah. that guy who got fired from H&M started working at Gucci. Okay. <laughs> they, they, they never even put that sweat out. They just did that for publicity, honey. Well, see, they never I, got online. I don't own one thing Gucci, so it doesn't really affect me, but I'm curious about people who do, like Gary, and I don't know if Head Crack does. I got yeah. a fanny pack. I know Frank has some Gucci shoes. So... If you're a fan of Gucci and this happens, are you all of a sudden done buying Gucci? You throw your Gucci stuff out? I mean... Is it affecting you if you're a fan of Gucci? It ain't affecting me, honey. And the Gucci, I, I'm not about to throw it out, child. Let somebody give me back my money that I paid for. <laughs> <laughs> then you can have this caca, but no man, honey. Uh -uh. So this sweater's a good idea. Where they screwed up is to put the lips on it. But that's, that's, that's kind of where they blew it. I think that sweater should the be... Bad, that's the bad part. If it was, if it was a, a white no. sweater, it wouldn't be a big deal. No, I or think if it was sweater, just a hole. It right? should be an abdomen sweater. You should be able to put it in your abdomen area and, you know, with the red lips, and then you'll be able to use it however you want to use it then you never know yes it's a glory sweater <laughs> <laughs>